Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Hey you and welcome guys. So <clears throat> this will be a um, Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising as well. Weekly tarot reading August 12th to August 18th of oh, um, 2019. And uh, just bear with me a uh, second here to shuffle the tarot cards and we are going to jump right into it. Alright, so the first one which stands for the topic of your week is going to be the Ten of Wands, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that we do have a Ten of Cups. So it does look like for a, a lot of, a um, how can I place it, obligations that you will have to attend to throughout the week. And uh, to be honest with these two cards, I would say that it's going to pay off big time. But the thing is that you probably um, overstepped into the... Um, obligatories and tasks you took, all right? So a, a very busy week awaits you for what it seems. For example, if I have been a, um, a Gemini, you know, uh, these cards would reflect that I have took so many private readings, all right, that I will have a difficulty um, as uh, kind of like um, meeting the demands, all right? Something like this. It's it's really a thing that you can't postpone it. You have to simply attend it because the more postponing it, uh, the difficult it becomes and the more dissatisfaction it, uh, it exerts in you and into the people which the obligatories are. So we do have the tower card, which is the positive aspect of your week. And the last one here, which is the guidance, that will be the strength card. All right, so... <clears throat> The obligatories and the task that you took has to be obviously executed throughout the week, or at least you need to show to the people that you are working on it. All right. Uh, the good thing here with this uh, with this reading is that that will force you to make certain adaptations and certain changes. And what you're gonna find out is that you are actually doing very well. All right. I mean, these are the changes that you desperately needed. It's not even desperately needed, all right? But more like a you were needed so you can face the ups and downs of the daily routine of your job of your marriage relationship or whatever with much more ease okay so that is exactly the the the, the construction or right, i of, of of or the structure of one's approach which will allow you to be more efficient in your job like I said, in your marriage and etc. etc. So apart from that, this week is gonna be very busy, it's also going to be a week of a new transformation, like a moth becoming a butterfly from the cocoon. Alright. So before we scrutinize the reading, let's go through the cards one more time. And the first one is going to be the Ten of Wands, followed by the next one that, that is the topic here, Ten of Wands. Afterwards, we do have the Ten of Cups as a challenge. <clears throat> followed by the tower card as a uh, positive aspect and then the last one that we do have it is the strength card that stands for the guidance 
All right, so 10 of wands. Well, 10 of wands usually display a, a person who is struggling, all right? But what the most of the books doesn't tell, it is what oh, the wands are representing. The wand, it's a, a symbol of power, all right? Wand is a symbol of um, creativity, of passion, of power, of of work, let's say it that way, all right? <clears throat> or what the person here is struggling to do so is to attend to all the power, all the passion, all the creativity he took under his wing, all right? But the one always pays off, all right? So what I can say from this card here, it is that you took an, an a very lucrative and awesome opportunities, all right? But no one can blame you for that. Unfortunately, you took way too many right now. And um, for that being said, in order for you to attend to all of them, it will require a, a great amount of, of self, it's, it's self control and as well discipline was the word that I was searching for. Because either of these things is, is going to require its own approach or rather like it's it, it's its own specifics that you need to oblige to all right you can't just um address every single task the same way that's the problem so you have to be very versatile throughout the week as well the accompanied card is going to be the emperor so we do have a active supporters here emperor speaks for reliability structure skill as well it does speak to uh, as a organized effort all right so this this is even bigger uh, sentence here that you need to organize every single piece of task, plan, action, whatever that you are uh, attending to do throughout this week, August 12th to August 18th. And as you are watching this before the week came around, because you are gonna have the chance to, um, and you already took way too much uh, under your wing to do for this week, it's time for you to stop. Because the emperor has double edges, you know, you need to show yourself as a, as a, a reliable and responsible person. There is no shame into saying I don't have the time or I don't have the means to do it, right? Emperor does not care what the people think of him. It does not care what the people are going to say if you decline a, a proposition or a, a, a call for help, let's say. One second, guys. Something happened here on my computer. Oh my God, what the, what the hell? Anyway, oh yeah. Okay, so the emperor only cares of how he performs. Is what the emperor is doing is good for their life, all right, or for the empire. So if you obviously, if you take too many responsibilities, at the end you are um, not fulfilling them, either you are gonna disappoint the person you promised something, all right, or you are going to establish a weak spot in your life and you don't want that, all right? So that being said, going to the next card, which stands for the challenge here, and we do have the Ten of Cups. So Ten of Cups represents the, um, the satisfaction of what one has right now, all right? Or the satisfaction of one's blessings. That's my air conditioning, guys. Don't mind it. It's going to stop in a second. So... That being said, you are going to have, it will be very challenging to be satisfied with that you overburden yourself. It's just as simple as that, you know, and to be honest, you may, oh my God, that fly, it's a butterfly. I don't know how it, it get here. <laughs> I'm going to deal with it after I'm done with the reading anyway. So, <clears throat> and my point here was, is that, you are to become aware, you know, that, uh, well, in my country, we do have that expression, which devil made you to, to do this or which devil made you to accept that? And this is what you may curse yourself for, not a bigger curse, you know, but yet uh, you would have wished that you had some breaks beforehand before you decide to promise something into someone and it doesn't have to be way too many things as well now that i think of it could be just only one thing but when you promise that you're going to do it or when you took it uh under your way or under your wing you didn't have much of an idea how you're going to do it you probably 
thought that it's going to be as easy as possible, but it turned out to be a bit more difficult and complex that you have anticipated. So the accompanied card here is going to be the justice and the justice represents in this case what we first, first of all, we do have a passive neutrals. So with the justice additional uh, difficulty here is going to be very difficult for you to structure everything or to er organize everything. That's because you're going to have favorites, right? You're going to have one thing favored over another. While in the same time, the situation is going to demand the another to be over uh, to be more favorable for the one thing, okay? So let's say that you promise that you are going to have a, uh, a dinner with your husband or with your wife in the Wednesday evening, but in the same time, um, <clears throat> you promise your boss that you are going to work extra time as well because the deadline comes, uh, the deadline of the project comes Thursday uh, morning, all right? So you would have loved to go with your wife or a husband on a dinner and that will, you may prioritize that thing, but in the same time, you, it will be more beneficial for you to attend to the uh, overwork here so you can sort out everything into your project. So that will be the magnitude that this reading is going to play out for you. Uh, the next card is going to be the challenges, uh, the positive aspect, and that is the tower. So we said that because it's going to be so tough that you have to perform in everything of that and you have to be versatile everywhere, the whole thing is going to make you resort to different strategies, all right? You will completely going to abandon a certain topics or aspects or how do you say it, concepts, right, of your way of tackling things and resorts to rather more unorthodox means, which is going to pay off big time. And you're going to say, wait a minute, you know, why wouldn't I thought about beforehand, you know, why I haven't been like that before? And more and more, one thing is going to lead to another and the more uh, and the struggle is going to become less and less and so on and so forth to a point where you're going to completely change. What I mean, your performance is going to completely change. Things that you beforehand did with extreme efforts now are going to be pff, just a trifle, right? Things that you uh, found very difficult and very how can I place it very um, stressful or now just something that you can do with one hand be, uh, tied behind your, behind your back. So my point here is that all that um, responsibilities that you're going to have Gemini throughout the week uh, actually is going to pay off in many ways. You know, one of the ways obviously is the reward from all that, but also the, the lesson that you're going to learn how to tackle with all this, which you will be able to incorporate in every single task from now on moving into the future. The Accompanied card is going to be the star card and that, that just only validates my point that I said only from the tower, the formation here it is a active friend and the, the star as an active friend it does point to sealing the deal, right? So you have found the right way or rather like you are going to come up with the right way how you can manage all that, right? And from now on you are going to have so much capacity to work with, okay? <clears throat> Either into your career or either into your marriage. To me, it does look like your way of doing things because there is no right or wrong way of doing things. There is your way of doing things. If someone approaches a certain situation, two people approaches a certain situation, you know, different things are going to work out different for, for either of these people, okay? So it does look like that you are going to find your way of how to make an, an exceptional performance either career-wise or either relationship-wise as well, and all begins with a struggle, not because you are incapable of doing something, because you're going to struggle managing your time and managing your resources and efforts as well. So the last card, which is the guidance that Tara is offering to you, that is going to be the strength card. So first of all, you need to know that you don't have to rush anything. That is very important because strength speaks for pers perseverance through patience. Do not lose your mind, all right? Do not fall into, how do you say it? A hectic and frantic behavior where you were just throwing something into the wall or in it, into the endeavor 
ever hoping that it's going to work out. This isn't how it works out, all right? This isn't what the Emperor does with the Ten of Wands as a leading card, all right? The Emperor, everything that the Emperor and with the Ten of Wands as well does are very methodical and very meaningful as well. Meaningful in a sense that everything has its intentions. It's intentional and it is meant to achieve something. Okay, throwing a, a thing with a hope that is going to work out, it's not going to work out. Very, very important here. So take your time, um, when, especially if you do have an important things to do or an important endeavors to attend to, to think of the accurate strategy, how you're going to address them. And the last one here, the accompanied card is going to be the Nine of Wands. So the strength with the, first of all, we do have an active supporters here and the Nine of Wands is also about patience and patience. So you, you have the patience so you can make the necessary adaptations, the necessary conscious changes, so you can make uh, your, your life much more easier and as well much more bearable. On top of that, the Nine of Wands is about avoiding the disaster, rapidly approaching storm, in maybe in the very last minute. So should you persevere calm through all that, you know, and you don't allow the circumstances to intimidate you or the people to intimidate you, you will always gonna come up with the right action and with the right decision for it. It is just, you know, you need to have self-belief and also, how do you say? Well, yeah, it's self-belief into your personal standing and personal capabilities. So yeah, that being said, Gemini's, I'm sorry about the butterfly. I'm going to deal with it right now. I just need to find it. Anyway, so that was uh, your weekly tarot reading, August uh, 12th to August 18th, 2019. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.